This video is called Stop Playing With Meditation and Commit To Yourself Already. And the way, the reason I say that is because I personally played with meditation off and on for many years. And I found I got the most out of it when I made a commitment. When I said, okay, like let's set something in stone here where I'm gonna commit to for the next X amount of days. And for me, I thought the best frequency was 20 minutes twice a day. When I got the 20 minutes twice a day, it was made 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes midday after work before coming home. And it, it got me to a really good place. And I think anything you commit to is good, even if it's one minute once a day, every single day. Give that time for reflection, it's good. So pick something you wanna do that you can commit to and set a, a challenging goal for yourself. So what I've been doing recently, I listened to a podcast with Tim Ferriss and, the, and they talk about this one hour meditation once a day. I took a course online not too long ago that really talks about the one hour meditation and you know this interesting thing that happens at the 45 minute mark. And so I did that for about you know 20 days, 30 days, and you know I felt pretty good. But January 1st, you know, one of my friends, Robbie, who's on one of the podcasts, um, was giving me some, grinding me a little bit, saying, you know, yeah, you talked this big game and, you know, you got me to do this thing and, you know, you kept falling off when I went to Costa Rica. So I committed one hour a day for every day for as long as I can go. In my head, I'm thinking like 365. I know that's a little bit ambitious, but we're going to put it out there. We're going to stretch. Make your goal to stretch for yourself. Um, I'm kind of stubborn. I'm a Taurus. So when I put that in there, I like really stick to it. What I will say, as of recording this video, I'm 12 days in, and I feel incredible. I feel super calm. It's a crazy time in the world right now. It feels like any day the world could fall into complete darkness and catastrophe or shift into something beautiful. Um, but I've become so detached from it in a way that it's okay. Whatever happens, it's okay. And I really feel it's my mind has been able to sort of um, let go of a lot of the chatter and the stress hormones has gone down. And I feel a lot more calm and clear where I'm less responsive to all these stimuli. You know, all these things that come in. This could be bad, this could be good. It's like, it is what it is. And that's such a gift. It's something that I haven't really, really sort of embodied um, because I'm, I'm so busy and active. Um, but 12 days in, I'm already starting to see how powerful that is. And the technique is super simple. And that's why I love it the most. It's basically just sit there for 60 minutes and just observe what comes up. Self-observation. Don't try to meditate. Don't do anything different. You know, I would say the simplest thing is just breathe through your nose and slow your breathing down. Um, but even that is just like, just sit there and day after day, you'll see more of these things coming up. You know, you might have to focus some awareness on them if you see a pattern. But really, you just want to allow what comes up to come up and slowly it's just going to start coming out and the mind's going to get quieter and quieter each day that goes by. There have been a few days where I've sort of nodded off and like cracked my neck coming back up and it was quite startling. But, you know, these are just part of the process of, of unfolding. So I'll, I'll do another video about 30 days in to see what has unfolded. But I'm going to challenge you guys to like right now commit to something where you can do self-observation meditation, which means absolutely whatever you want it to be, just sit there, be quiet and see what comes up. One minute a day, two minutes a day, an hour a day. How many days you wanna do it? Commit right now, say it out loud. 60 minutes a day for me. I'm going for 365, one hour a day. Uh, we'll see how far I get. If I fall short, that's fine too. And don't beat yourself up if you do. So leave a comment if you do. Comment on the video what you're committing to. I'd love to hear so we can keep track and see if you can remember to check back in. Also, it's good to um, have an accountability partner. In our men's group, we've got an accountability partner, so each week I just put the same one. <laughs> one hour meditation a day, that's my accountability. I let them know when I do it. Looking forward to see what happens, guys, with myself and with you guys, too. So it's a challenge. Let me know. Challenge accepted. All right. Good luck. Happy meditating, and I'll uh, see you on the other side. Peace.